Greetings gentlemen ladies, Old School Games Nub here. In today's video I'm going to be doing an import from uh, Daz Studio. Whoop. I'm <laughs> gonna be moved uh, into, ah, oh, whatever. My channel's so full of boobs these days, I'm never gonna get monetized. That's fine, we're just doing this for fun and knowledge. Uh, we're gonna be moving some clothing over into Daz. Now, I just put up a video, or sorry, into, from Daz into Unreal. Now, I just put up a video showing how to fix this clipping issue, uh, and I'm gonna be doing the complete, uh, the complete, um, uh, fixed clipping issue, blah, 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 with a different piece of clothing today, but also just going through quickly how to export your Daz clothing over to uh, Unreal Engine. All right, so let's grab a piece of clothing first. Uh, I'm just gonna grab um, something here. Boom, let's see, let's see, let's see. I've got one in particular that I want. I don't remember what it is. Let me see, oh, there we go. Country girl, shorts. All right, let's grab those. So I'm gonna, of course, start by fitting this to my character. And uh, you're going to want to make sure that this is parented to your character so that it is not, uh, it needs to be within the Genesis skeleton, right? So it, it just normally putting this on in the normal way is fine. Uh, if you accidentally just load this into the scene by itself without the model or if you unparent it for any reason, you're going to run into issues. So just make sure that this is attached as normal. It should be underneath the Genesis character. All right, so now select, make sure you select the clothing item that you want to export because only the clothing item is going to go. I'm going to go Daz to Unreal. I'm just going to call this one test. No, I'm going to call this uh, actually Cowgirl Shorts. So I'm going to call that. Default options here. You can you know send morphs over if you want to. I don't have any, so that's not really relevant. Go ahead and click click accept. Accept everything here as default is fine. Um, oh, and what I've also done, by the way, guys, this is another important thing. I was having issues with my import. Uh, clothing being rotated in the wrong direction. So in my DAZ project settings, in my plugin settings, you go into project settings, you scroll down to plugins on the left, you go to DAZ to Unreal settings. For me, uh, tick having this tick on is what uh, is what fixed uh, import and deformations on importing clothing. Zero root rotation option on import. I don't do this with my models, but I do do this with my clothing, and it seems to fix it, fix the clothing for me. Okay. Anyway. Uh, back into Daz Studio here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and export Tevu, and uh, kada kada. Sip. Now's a good time to take a sip of uh, delicious uh, dark roast coffee or whatever you happen to be sipping on. All right. Now back into Unreal. Just gonna do its little import thing. All right. So let's uh, let's now actually try to put the clothing on. As you can see, our clothing is here. Oh, you know what I forgot, guys? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Uh, you guys aren't going to like this. Uh, you're going to have to re-import. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Now this may fit properly, but it may not fit properly because I, I forgot to tell you guys one thing. Um, I'm just going to actually up attach that. It is actually fitting properly, so I must have still had the option toggled on. Well, let's just say that uh, maybe this depends on the clothing piece. I'm not 100% sure, but if you have any clipping issues, uh, what you're going to want to do is go back to Daz and go to your clothing item, go to parameters, and uh, under all for the for the shorts, search for fit. Search for fit. Now my default was, yeah, redirect transformations was the default. Now when I got clipping, I switched this over to auto follow. And I think I got better results with auto follow. Now it seems to have worked this time for me, but it wasn't working for a different item of clothing. So if you do encounter uh, any sort of clipping on your clothing come back try the auto follow transform and I'm gonna actually just uh, I'm gonna actually just overwrite my ex I, th I think that, that it fits better. I think I just think it fits better So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, Update my own version of those shorts cuz yeah, I need to move them into my scene. That's it guys That is how to move clothing over don't forget to change your name right here That's where you can change your asset name uh, as you're testing, you know, different iterations, test, test 2, test 3, test 4, etc. Be careful not to overwrite your model if you have your model open and you don't want to overwrite uh, your base model by naming it the same because, you know, that could be unfortunate. So just make sure you got your name set there uh, as you want it to be. That's it. I'm going to just finish this import. But that's it. That's the whole instruction. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's head over into Daz and see if that's looking a okay there we go. Um, yeah, so that should basically already be updated because it's still attached to the model, but 
yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, oh, one, one, one more thing, guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry. For those of you, uh, this is some things just kind of on automatic for me. Um, in order to attach the clothing, this is probably what something you guys want to know. In order to attach clothing to your model, what you're going to want to do is uh, uh, basically you're going to need to create a blueprint for your character, right? Uh, this I don't know if we're going to cover that in this tutorial, but basically you'll you you okay. I'm thinking if you got your character already imported and set up, you probably already have a blueprint for it. So I'm going to assume you have a blueprint for your character. Uh, all you need to do to attach the clothing is head on over in, into your character blueprint. Right, so here's my character blueprint. Uh, go to the construction script. The construction script basically executes uh, instead of instead of like using begin play and then ex executing instructions in the event graph. The construction script basically just executes, and it actually executes basically real time. So you can see the uh, effect of it in viewport. So it's it's nice. It's nicer to use in in terms of something like adding clothing. So on your construction script, drag off the set master pose component, basically this guy right here, uh, into the new master bone component. You're going to want to drag your skeletal mesh. Now your skeletal mesh is your character, right? So this is this is the Daz model. That will be your uh, uh, new master bone component, and everything else, clothing wise, that you want to attach to your character, you can just drag right into the target. Um, you can do multiple items just just in this way. So if I wanted to also attach the eyelashes, you can attach multiple items just like that. Now my actual eyelashes aren't working, so that's not a great example. Yeah, you can see they're kind of like uh, uh, not aligned in the into the eye right, but yeah, the, the system is trying to attach them uh, in, a, in the right way. And I think that's it. Okay, anyway, hope you guys have found this video helpful. See you later. All right.